Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is going to be for Wilfred Season 4, Episode 5, Forward. And, wow, this episode was amazing. In my opinion, the best episode of Wilfred of all time. I mean, really. The thing that happened at the end of this episode, really, I've been wanting that to happen for so long now. Like, so, so long. I'm so happy it happened. I cannot wait for the next episode. And I can't wait for the next episode. Personally, I can't. I think this was a fantastic episode. I love the way it ended. And I absolutely loved everything that was happening in this episode. I thought it was fantastic. So let's just get to it. So in the beginning of the episode, Ryan is interrogating Wilfred. We don't know why. Something happened, you know, it's that day. Something with previous events that happened. Of course, he did get at, um, news from Dr. Grummins before, but he didn't really know if it was true or not. Um... Either way, he does not trust him, and he thinks Wilfred is hiding something from him, and Wilfred's like, oh, I'm not going to talk, but then Ryan decides to get this can full of pennies, and shakes it, and it, like, startles Wilfred, and I thought that was kind of funny, but it gets Wilfred to listen to him, and then he tells Wilfred he is out to, and then basically he asks Wilfred why he's out to ruin his life. And Wilfred denies it, and, you know, basically, Ryan tells him that last night is an example of this. That, you know, the the day, I mean, the day before, you know, the previous events in the day is an example of this. And basically, we then see a flashback of Ryan and Wilfred, and Ryan is joking about his boss, Goldsmith, and how she's such a bitch and everything. And Wilfred drew a picture of her, and Ryan said he will send it to her, but when Wilfred, the, and... You know, he says, I should send this to Goldsmith, and he's drunk and everything, so he says, I'll send it to her. He puts the letter in an envelope, puts the envelope on the table, and then he goes to see what Wolfred is going to do next. When Wolfred falls asleep, we actually realize this was Wolfred, this was Ryan's first step in denying Wolfred's trust. He wanted to make sure that he could trust Wolfred here, and this is basically his first step in seeing if he can trust him or not. And then we hear a knock at the door, and it's Kristen. And she's reminding him that Joffrey's uh, preschool interview is later today for Delmore Academy, which, you know, both Ryan and Kristen went to. And she tells him not to be late because she really wants Joffrey again to the school. And, of course, Ryan wants Joffrey again to the school. So then Wilfred wakes up, and, um, you know, he's there with Ryan. Ryan says, oh, I have to go make some errands. However, what Ryan really does is he goes outside to basically spy on Wilfred. Um... Wilfred takes the envelope and holds onto it, and he decides not to mail the drawing. Um, and um, basically, he decides um, not to mail the drawing. And uh, Ryan was surprised by that because he was staring at him in the mailbox, and he decided not to mail the drawing. So we then go back to the present time, and Ryan is, uh, said he's surprised he didn't mail it, and Wilfred tells him he was actually trying to not mail it. You know, he basically says, I was trying to not mail it for you. Um, and Ryan said that would have been too obvious. He had another plan in mind. We then see that Ryan was at Joffrey's preschool interview, so he did make it with Kristen. And Ryan goes to the bathroom where he sees Wilfred at the school. Now, Wilfred has his backpack, but his backpack contains lube, alcohol, and, like, baby formula. So, they are kicked out of the school. And, um, Joffrey did not get into the preschool. And this was, like, the first sign of Ryan thinking that Wilfred, you know, he couldn't trust Wilfred. Um, basically, Ryan accused Wilfred of, um, you know, basically, uh, making Kristen think, uh, you know, of, um, you know, taking his bag and everything, and says, now Kristen thinks he's some kind of sexual deviant. And Ryan then tells, um, him, you know, Wilfred that he's actually not Wilfred, that he's actually Krungle. Because if you remember, Dr. Grummins told him there were two, um, you know, gods. One that was, um, you know, full of the god of happiness, and then there was Krungle, the evil demon. And Wilfred has no idea what he's talking about, but this does not make Ryan think any different. However, he says that there are two sides to, you know, basically, um, Ryan gives some examples of how Wilfred has ruined his life. For example, when he left his neighbor's wallet and got the shit beat out of him, funny things like that. But then we get a huge thing, and I was so, it was so big when Ryan said that. I was so surprised when he said that. He says, he brings up Amanda, and I was like, oh my god, he's actually bringing up Amanda, because... If you guys don't know, I loved Ryan and Amanda in season two. I loved it. I did not like that they ended up making her crazy. I thought they were very good together, and I'm really happy they brought her up again. Um, 
Now, Wilfred says she was crazy, but Ryan thinks that maybe she wasn't. That's why he's losing it so much. And Wilfred basically tells him he need, either way he needs to move on from Amanda. And he also tells him whether he is an evil god or not, he needs to listen to Wilfred because there are two sides to every story. Basically, we hear um, Wilfred's side of the story. Now, basically, it's the same story in the beginning. You know, he claims that Ryan was drunk, and that's why he put in the envelope. Um, and then we then see what Wilfred, we see what Wilfred thinks a bear looks like. And honestly, that was hilarious to watch because all this time, Wilfred has talked to Bear. And finally, we're actually seeing what Wilfred thinks Bear looks like. And it was absolutely hilarious to watch. I thought that was so, so funny. Definitely one of the funniest parts of the episode. Like, that was hilarious. Um... Now, while Ryan was um, spying on Wilfred, Wilfred had actually gone to get a haircut, and he talked to the barber Cheryl to make sure he wasn't in love with Bear, and I thought that was hilarious. Um, now, this is, probably one of the, this is probably the funniest scene, one of the funniest scenes in Wilfred history was Wilfred's flashback. I mean, it was so, so funny to watch. Now, Ryan said, um, you know, basically, now, basically, you know, Ryan said he wasn't um, his dog. Now, when Ryan went to the pet store, he's like, oh, that's not my dog. And uh, he was trying to make it seem like Wilfred wasn't his dog. And Wilfred basically told him that he brought the gerbil to move on from Bear. And he had to pick a lubricant for the gerbil so he could basically shove the gerbil up his ass. Um, which was really funny. So he ran into who he then claims is his best friend, Dennis, trying to buy some alcohol from him. And he then decided to pick up a gift for Joffrey and assume the interview was just a formality. And the, and um, in, and assume the, in, the interview was just a formality. And the bag was actually not Ryan's bag. He found the same bag he was only trying to get, and he found the same exact bag into, um, you know, in, in the store. And he snatched the bag, and, you know, he was only trying to get, you know, his bag back from him. So, Ryan then tells him his story does not make sense at all, which it does not make any sense, um, at all. I do understand Ryan's logic. That makes no sense at all, what he just said. Um... But Ryan, because Ryan, but now, the only thing is that Ryan always writes the initials in his backpacks, and he doesn't trust Wilfred still. And then we get probably one of the biggest twists of the episode, because we hear a knock on the door, and Jenna is back. That was huge. Now, we have not seen Jenna since episode two, when she went with Drew. We kind of get an update on what ended up happening with Drew. She said she couldn't get Drew to come back. Drew decided to stay in Wisconsin. He was too upset at what happened with Jenna, and she's kind of upset about it, and just wants Wilfred back. Now, of course, Ryan's middle of interrogating him, so he has to lie to her and say he's in the middle of giving him a bath. And he goes back downstairs and says, all right, look, just talk to me. Jenna's here. You can go home to her. But Wilfred ends up kidnapping him. And Wilfred has time to a chair, slaps, he, um, slaps Ryan and tells him he would never mail a letter for him. He is not his, um, you know, mailman. And Ryan tells him whatever he wants, he, you know, Ryan basically says, look, whatever you want from me, you're not going to get it. And he tells Ryan he's giving him a taste of his own medicine, shakes the can of pennies, you know, because, um, Ryan tried that. And it doesn't work on Ryan, obviously. And he tells Bear to keep an eye on Ryan. We get probably a very awkward scene where Bear is literally staring at Ryan. And it was really fun to see. Luckily, though, Ryan is eventually able to untie himself from the chair. But as soon as that happens, um, Will, um, you know, as soon as that happens, he sees Wilfred because Wilfred had gone to get like a blowtorch and shit like that. And um, Ryan then attacks him and asks him what is time, what is he trying to hide? And um, he denies, you know, that he's not that he, he says I'll never tell. But he then decides to, you know, he, but then Ryan gets, like, this bag, and he, like, crinkles it, and it was so funny to watch, and then that got Wilfred to talk, and basically, we probably get, um, probably the saddest scene, this is when the episode actually got pretty dramatic, I like that about the season, that I said, you know, it's funny, and then it's dramatic, and here's where it gets dramatic. He admits he lied when he got to the school, the only part of his story he didn't tell is what happened when he got to the school, because he actually saw Amanda, out of the inst out of the institution, and she's happy with her boyfriend, and didn't want to make Ryan upset. And the only way to get him, basically, um, the only way to get him out was to, you know, the only way to get them out of the preschool so Ryan didn't have to see her was to put that stuff in the bag. And he didn't want Ryan to see her, and he just didn't want Ryan to see her happy like that because it wasn't with him. And Ryan does not believe him, though. Ryan says he doesn't, you know, he maybe she is out of the institution, maybe she is happy, but there's no way that she would move on from him that quickly. Um, and I do understand Ryan there. I mean, 
Ryan and Amanda, they were in love. When I, They were in love. I mean, they really were. They were together very, very well. You could see that Amanda really loved Ryan. Ryan, I mean, I'm Ryan, I'm sure, was even thinking about marrying Amanda someday. Amanda was his true love. Amanda was the only girlfriend that Ryan really ever had. So, Amanda really is the only girlfriend he's ever had. And he obviously is very upset that Amanda went to that institution. So, he wants to do whatever he can to get her back. And he really wants to get her back however he can. And um, he basically tries to. So, he really wants to. And basically, um, what ends up happening is, you know, Ryan decides to do the one thing that Wilfred doesn't want. Um, she, he decides to actually go back to the school to see her, and he sees a teacher, but it's not Amanda. We find out that Amanda's actually the janitor of the school, and that's the one part that Wilfred didn't say. She, he didn't, he did not say that she was a teacher. He just said that she was at the school hobby with a boyfriend, but it turns out she did, actually does not have a boyfriend. Um, she, he sees Amanda, and he says, Amanda? And, um, this was probably the saddest scene in the episode. For me, personally, this was my favorite scene in the episode. It really was. And she says, look, I can't do this right now, because at the hospital, they gave her medication and therapy, and once they found the right combination, she got better, and her parents took her in. And, um, she wanted to call him, but she was worried that their relationship triggered something, you know, because that's when why she went crazy. And she can't do it again. She wants to get, um, her life, you know... She, she can't, have, she wants to go, she, you know, she has her life on a good path, and she can't look back, and she can't have Ryan in her life right now. Now, this really gets Ryan thinking, you know, you kind of see that Ryan is thinking of something in his head, and he goes back home to Wilfred, and he tells him, look, I'm sorry I, you know, was like that. Basically, we find out that Wilfred was telling him the truth. Wilfred was basically just trying to make him not upset by seeing Amanda there. And he tells Wilfred, look, maybe everything you said was not true. Maybe what you said was. But either way, I am done punishing you for the past. And basically, we get probably with the best moment of the entire show so far. Because I have Ryan to do, to do this for so long. Ryan is done looking back. He says, look, I'm done looking back. And Ryan is going to now take control of his own life. But part of him taking control of his own life has to mean, you know, he wants to move forward and fix what went wrong, but the part of that means not having Wilfred in his life right now. So that's basically how the episode ended. Ryan is finally going to take control of his own life because he wants to fix all the problems he's made. He wants to fix what went wrong with Kristen. He wants to get back together with Amanda because he loves Amanda. Amanda is still his true love, and he really wants to prove to her that she can be with him. Um... He wants to fix things with Jenna, because he, maybe he likes Jenna, because maybe he'll have a future with Jenna. Um, but he has so many things he really wants to fix, and part of that just means ignoring Wilfred. And honestly, I really love the titles for the episode, but Forward is probably the best title the show's ever done, because this episode's all about moving forward and forgetting about the past, letting go of the past, and actually just moving on and fixing your life, because Ryan really does have a lot to fix, even though Wilfred might have caused it. Ryan really was the one that agreed to it, so Ryan does have a lot to fix, and he has a lot of thinking to do. So I think the next episode's going to be very interesting to see what Ryan actually does. If Ryan does decide to take control of his life, I really hope he does, because I would love for that to happen. I think it'd be great if Ryan does decide to take control of his life, and, you know, basically... Wilfred, as far as Wilfred goes, I don't know if I can, we, you know, we're pretty sure we can trust Wilfred. I mean, Wilfred was hilarious in this episode. His whole flashback where we got to see, like, what Bear looks like. Sorry, guys, just putting my computer here. Um, His whole flashback when we got to see what Bear looks like, that was so funny. Um, The black and white flashback is probably the funniest scene on Wilfred so far. But this was by far the best episode of the entire series, in my opinion. Because I have wanted Brian to do this for so long. Basically, get on his life without Wilfred. That's what I wanted Brian to do. Just move on without Wilfred. And it looks like next week, Wilfred's going to try to get Ryan into doing something. But Ryan's going to be like, I am done falling for your tricks. I am done, you know, helping you with things. And Ryan just wants to focus on his own life right now. Which, honestly, that is fantastic. Because it's about time that Ryan take control of his own life without Wilfred. Because all his life, it's been like, 
Wilfred has been telling him what to do, pretty much, and Ryan is sick and tired of that, so he wants to take control of his own life and move on from Wilfred, and honestly, I think it is fantastic that he wants to do that. I really hope he is successful in doing that, because as I said, I've wanted Ryan to do this forever. I've wanted this from season one, personally, and I ho really hope that Ryan does take control of his own life. Now, Elijah Wood, um, a whole bunch of people have been talking about the final episode of the show. We're at the halfway point of the season. So, I mean, definitely, I mean, we're at, we, we're at the halfway point of the series. There's only five more episodes left in the entire show. Um, and um, pretty much, you know, that's the perfect way to end it, you know, for the halfway point of the last season of the show is for Ryan to take control of his own life. I think that is perfect, and I definitely think it was a perfect way to end it. Now, Elijah Wood and a couple of people have stated in a press conference, they have been confronted by some people, and they've said that the finale of the show is emotionally satisfying. Here's what I think is pretty much going to happen now. Two things could happen. One, we are going to find out that everything that Wilfred says is bullshit, and he actually is Krungle. Or Ryan's going to have to move on from Wilfred, and he's just going to have to move on, and Ryan's going to have a life without Wilfred. Wilfred's going to have to accept the fact that he can't stay with Ryan his whole life. And if, if Wilfred gets too clingy, it might result in Ryan actually having to kill Wilfred, because if Ryan, you know, wants Wilfred to have his life completely, then that might be the best way. I'm pretty sure at this point, Ryan wants Wilfred to have his life. He understands Wilfred is trying to protect him, but he doesn't need Wilfred to protect him anymore, because Ryan wants to fix his own life. And he doesn't really want Wilfred to, um, you know, he doesn't really trust, he still does not really trust Wilfred right now. So let's see what happens there. But overall, I love this episode. This was the best episode of the season. Fantastic, fantastic episode. Absolutely loved it. But that's basically it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for Big Brother, um, for um, either, um, which will either be my review for a classic review or my review of Big Brother 16. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.